Hello and welcome to your Astrological Vibrations for Friday, May 17th, 2019. I'm going to give you a little smudging <laughs> because, oh my goodness, these astro energies. Um, and our energy mantra for today is, it is my responsibility to align myself with that which I desire. Could not read my handwriting for a second. Gonna do it again. It is my responsibility to align myself with that which I value. Um, and the word desire popped into my head. It's also your job to align yourself with that which you desire. But back to the value energy. Woo! We are building into this full moon in Scorpio. We have the full moon happening tomorrow on Saturday. So we're building into the full moon. And when we build into that energy, we may feel uh, emotional tides also building. The moon rules our feelings. The moon rules our emotions. We have Mars in Cancer now. And if you didn't watch that scope, I suggest you go back to yesterday's scope and watch that because Mars in Cancer is definitely going to push emotional outbursts and definitely... <laughs> We have been seeing them and experiencing our, them ourselves around here. Um, that being said, I we just finished doing a bunch of readings for people. We did the 10 uh, full moon Scorpio readings today. And in general, they were really good, really positive. And I think that's the thing is this transformation energy that's building with this full moon. Any tension that is rising to the surface with this full moon energy it really is a good thing. It is really a beneficial thing. And so it's like keep finding your alignment. Keep lining up with what you value. Keep lining up with what you desire to help yourself moving and grooving <clears throat> and uh, going with the flow. <laughs> well, it's hard to see. Oh, no. I can't catch the light. Let's see if I can do it this way. Going with the flow. There we go. Now I can catch light. Going with the flow uh, with this energy. So let's dig in. The first connection that we do have is Mercury in conjunct Jupiter. So when we have in conjunct, we're not seeing eye to eye. This energy is at 22 degrees. So there's some mastery in here. Um, Mercury is in Taurus. And Mercury in Taurus is reminding us to have worth consciousness, value consciousness, resource consciousness. Jupiter retrograde in Sagittarius has some interesting connotations in this. One of the things is like knowing the worth of your own wisdom. It's so easy to outsource, like even just to Google, like Google, tell me the answer to this. But it's like returning to that center, returning to the point of yourself that does know, like and trusting what you do know. That may be one of the bridges that's difficult to cross today. Another thing is, is, you know, finding the value, finding the gratitude in what's going on right now. I know there's so much craziness in the world and there are so many opinions about all of this craziness that's going on in the world. And unfortunately, sometimes it's this kind of thing that has to poke us, wake us up from complacency. You know, it's one of the things that we've talked about is we can get so comfortable even in the discomfort that it has to get ramped up a little bit so it's like keep finding the gratitude keep finding the value in what is going on there is mastery in that and there's mastery for all of us and that's part of this going with the flow energy and it doesn't mean that you have to follow the herd you know this is what is your flow what is your soul flow how is your soul calling you to activate at this time and can you can you take that aligned action can you move forward with consciousness with awareness this is the awareness card this is the chariot card can you move forward with that energy and the universe is like yeah yeah you can um we have the moon in scorpio building to this full moon energy and it's meeting up with neptune today our intuition is on point that's part of the going with the flow thing trusting yourself 
as you are being called to move, as you are being called to show up, whether it's for your shadows, whether it's for your own um, psychic information, however you are personally being called. But this is a really strong uh, intuitive push. Now, also of interest with this, this is actually a grand trine in water. So we have the moon, 18 degrees Scorpio. We have Neptune, 18 degrees Pisces. And we have the North Node in Cancer at 18 degrees. Listening to yourself, nurturing yourself, honoring your intuition. This is huge right now. There's a lot of spiritual stuff that's happening beyond the surface, beyond what we realize. What we need to be very aware of is not following those old patterns that we fall into, but really working through those layers, through those veils, through that awareness and moving with our personal flow. That is so important in this energy. Keep loving on yourself because when it gets so tense out there, we're all empathic to agree and we feel it. And that's that's part of the the sage, you know, <laughs> going on here. Just clearing, clearing these energies for all of us. Um, oh, speaking of this, we also have Mercury connecting to Pluto. So Mercury and Taurus connecting to Pluto and Capricorn. So much is up around the structure of the world. This is so interesting because this is at 23 degrees, and that is the degree of like mental energy, understanding. Can you see? Can you value? Can you understand the ultimate transformation that is going on right now? We have exhausted this path. We need to put things down um, in order to create the next, you know, the next level. But in order to create the next level, we do have to be true to ourselves. So it's just constantly checking in Am I aligning with that which I value within myself? Am I responding in a way that I am true to myself? Am I responding in a way that is in accordance with my personal values? And Jupiter retrograde, check in. Go into your beliefs. And are you walking your talk? And are you talking your walk? Because both are kind of called for at this time. Finally, something really interesting, you know, because... Because it's not enough to just have this full moon and crazy intense <laughs> Scorpio. Um, we have Venus building to a conjunction uh, with Uranus. So Venus conjunct Uranus. Venus representing relationship. Uranus representing change. We may definitely be triggered by relationship. It could be romantic. It could be friendship. It could be relationship with government. It could be relationship with God universe. There are so many levels that this relationship happens at. Now, what I love is that this conjunction tomorrow is happening at three degrees, which is that degree of expansion. But right after that, both Venus and Uranus are shifting to four degrees, that triggering degree. So that may be what you're personally feeling is some call to expansion. And that feeling of, um, uh, what is the right word? The feeling of glass ceiling or the feeling of not being able to expand accordingly. Um, the breakthrough is coming in regards to this, and it's going to come through your personal self-love, through you honoring your values, through you honing your relationship with that which you value, and making sure that you are spending time like tending to yourself and nurturing yourself through all of this crazy and intense energy. We are the creators of this world as it is and as it's growing into. What is your part in this? How are you being called to move forward in all of this? How are you being called on your soul's highest level for the highest good of all in and through these energies? This is all up to us, each of us, you know? So be willing to listen and be willing to show up how you are called to walk your talk and talk your walk. So I think I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> uh, get out your smudge sticks, people, because this is definitely going to help support you through these energies. Um, besides that, you can always book a reading with me. Take a second. Notice what you're grateful for. Even in this chaos, it's so important to hold that energy. It does light you up. Uh, besides that, the better it gets, the better it gets. There's more than enough love in the world for you, and you do have the power. Namaste.